Have you guys ever wanted to win in a game of skates so badly that you were prepared to do dirty tricks? Well, me neither, but if you're having a sore ankle like me and can't do regular flip tricks, well, you might just have to go that way. I don't recommend it, but if you agreed before the game of skate to kind of, you know, play honorable, I have a bad ankle, and then your opponent still goes ahead and does all the flip tricks that he knows you can't do. Therefore, I think it's appropriate to pull out some dirty tricks and that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. So let's just start out with all the body barrels. All right, how about backside? Whoa! Nope. I feel like the back side I have to do late, but the front side I can kind of... Nah, not, not like Clint Walker, but still, you know, do it on the way up. Most people do body barrels late. I think I have to do that when it comes to fakie, so let's try that. Oh my god! Should we get fakie both ways? Whoa! That was one of the more popped ones I've done. Let's see if we can do it fakie the other way. That's going to be scary, actually. I don't think I've done that before. Whoa. If you'd count that. That's actually what we're going to do now. Shove it, body barrels. Enough with the Ollie stuff. We're turning it up just a slight little notch. Switch. Oh, that's a weird feeling trick. I like a pop shove at body barrel on a, on a bank. That's normally really cool, especially if it's a steeper one. But I haven't really done the switch one here. So we'll just go with that one. <laughs> Alright, here's one that's super dirty. A gnarly backside shove at body barrel. Doing that, I thought it was a little lame. So if you do it switch, it adds a little more I don't know what you want to call that, but it looks a little more awesome in my opinion. So let's just do another one. Oh, we gotta get it clean. This trick is also leading up to my secret weapon in a game of skate, so we'll have to get it somewhat clean at least. Nope, right, right here. Like that. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen my my secret weapon, it's just that with a revert, but that'll be the last trick we do in this video. This next one is going to be over with pretty quickly because it's just a shove it revert, and I might do it switch as well, but it's just the idea of a shove it revert. You will get hate for doing that in a game with skate. See, I, I would have bailed that if someone would have said it right there. But maybe, just maybe it was the last letter, so I get two tries. And then I would have matched it. I mean, it's a fun trick to do really quickly, and if you gotta, you know, turn around, maybe and switch, it'll add a little bit. I thought doing the switch would make it a little cooler, but it's actually making it worse. I'm sorry, guys, we'll just keep that one. We gotta move on. Next up, let's go into the pressure flip department. Now, I'm really not that great at, at pressure flips, so I think we'll start out with a, with a toe flip. You know, the pressure barrel flip, if you wanna call it that. I got that dialed down a little better than just normal pressure flips. <laughs> not the best, but I guess it would count, right? Let's just get a regular pressure flip, the one that flips like an inward heel flip. I'm not good at this trick, so bear with me. God damn it. Now you see I'm struggling on this pressure flip, but that actually leads up to the trick we'll do afterwards. A pressure half flip, late half flip, because it just makes it easy on me. I can't get the full flip on just the pressure flip. Oh my god, we'll just keep that one. I was so slow, I thought I was going to die. And that's why the next trick is a pressure half the blade half flip. It'll just help me get the flip done. See, that was actually too much. <laughs> I, 
have seen Ellis Frost do this with a late one and a half flip, but we'll just stick to the late half flip. I've also done this with a body barrel, that's also a cool trick. Oh, I keep over flipping it now. Maybe it's my rails that make it so much easier to flip now. Get rails, guys, then you'll get pressure half flip, lace half flip. Blah, blah, blah. That is what you don't want to do in a game of skate. Land straight on your ass. But we know we got it now at least. Sketchy. We'll just keep that one. I don't think my toe touched. But if it did, let's just say it was defense. Half the people I've played, they don't want to count this. It's basically, <laughs> it's basically a shove it rewind. So you do a shove it, land in a very quick nose manual and do a shove it back again. It's supposed to look like this if I can do it first try. <laughs> it's a really fun trick though. Another trick you may get some flag for doing is the original kickflip, the old school kickflip with your toes tucked underneath the board. Many of my friends have never tried this trick before I did it in a game of skate. I guess it counts, but you may get some weird, weird looks by doing that trick. A little sketchy. That's pretty good. Let's get it to faking. Oh, what? Let's get it to fake now. That sometimes feels more natural because I use my back foot to flip it. I just kind of make it go that direction. So it makes it a little bit easier. Let's see. First try. Nope, but you could see what I was going for, right? Also, if you guys want to comment if you've ever played anyone in the game of skate and they just did these tricks as they were just, you know, completely natural and not dirty skate tricks, I'd love to hear about that. Like that. The next one we'll do will be an anti big spin. I'll do it fakey and backside, but there are way more variations to this. <laughs> the next trick is going to be an underflip and not a kickflip underflip, a 360 underflip. I don't know if you'd consider kickflip underflip a dirty trick, but 360 underflip probably is. It's actually been a while since I've done one, so hopefully I can still do this. Seems like I can't. <laughs> It was super clean, but no pop at all. I guess a lot of these tricks are going to be no pop. That was for Parlin, by the way. Here it is, the last trick, which is my secret weapon in the game of skate. It's basically a switch, front side shove it, back side body barrel, revert. So your body goes 360 back side and your board goes first front side without your feet on it and then it goes back again with your feet on it. I don't know, it's very confusing and probably a little mind-blowing to a lot of people. At least the guys that commented on my Instagram post not really being able to figure this one out. So let me just show you. Ow. A little bit sketchy and my hoodie was getting in the way of my view. Also, let me know if you guys even seen this trick before. Before me doing it at least. I haven't seen anyone do it. Not even regular. Not even... Why would anyone do it in Ollie Fagi? I don't really know. Let's get another angle or two. Let's get one the other way. Maybe a little bit better. I guess that's the way of practicing it. I mean, I kind of landed in the manual, but I'm over it. I think you guys get the idea of that trick now. There we go, guys. That was my secret weapon in the game of skate and a lot of other dirty tricks to do in a game of skate. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there's been a couple of dirty tricks to do in a game of skate videos already. I only remember Andy Shrug, but I figured Johnny Geiger would have done one as well. Andy's had varial flips in there and you know we had no traditional flip tricks in here. We did have a toe varial flip. That's the closest thing we'll probably get. We got some under flips and stuff. Mostly just shove it and body barrels. Shove it. Shove it's not really that dirty, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? 
But that was it for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Remember to subscribe as well and hit that bell to stay notified for future videos here on my channel. And then I'll just see you guys in the next video. Peace.